So guys, welcome to the 16th episode of the Chelsea Cremade series. Today we're back again with the Chelsea Cremade series and we are getting into the later stages of the season. There is only about four episodes to go till we end the season, till we end the first season of the Chelsea Cremade series. Today is a huge episode. We'll be having the semi-finals of the FA Cup, also our Premier League games because obviously we're getting into the later stages of the Premier League season and we are currently sitting first in the Premier League with Manchester City right behind us. I will be accepting the Brazil International Management Offer. Yes, so now I am the manager for Brazil and I will be doing a little bit of a spin-off series with Brazil in the upcoming day. So make sure you do not miss out on that. I've signed for Brazil and I'm now the Brazilian manager and obviously still the Chelsea manager. As we're heading into the first game of today's episode against Swansea. Like I did say, we are sitting first in the Premier Premier League coming up against Swansea City and obviously we want to win the Premier League title we've been in the top spot for most of the season now and it would be a devastating if we don't walk away with the Premier League title you guys can see that we have played one less game than Manchester City both teams are on 60 points but if we do win this game we go three points ahead of Man City we have the best away record in the Premier League uh, only by one point and surprising to see West Bromwich Albion in second there for the best away record this season this is a Swansea lineup. They're starting a 4 3 3 formation. AU will be starting out on the wing. Obviously, a very dangerous winger for um, Swansea City. Surprising to see Gomez and Sigerson as the substitutes for this game. As we take a look at my Chelsea lineup, Courtois, Ivanovic, Marquinhos, Kurt Zuma, and Espelicueta. Fabregas, John Obi, Mikel, Pogba, Hazard, and as the two strikers is going to be Diego Costa and Traore, Marco Royce, William Pastore. Loads of star players starting on the bench for this game. In the 11th minute of this game, we actually turned the ball over. Kurt Zuma gives it straight to AU. And I was just talking about AU. Take a look at the lineup. AU is down the wing, crosses it in. The ball falls out to find Courtois. It was actually Thibaut Courtois who palmed that one straight into the path of Britain. He put that one into the back of the net. Swansea lead 1-0 in the early stages of this game. But in the 29th minute, John Obi Mikel plays it inside to find Hazard as he plays it through to find Traore. And Traore keeps up his good form this season, picks up another goal. It's 1-1 one, one in the 30th minute and after 30 minutes both teams have found the back of the net. In the 42nd minute Eden Hazard making his one to goal gets taken down inside the area. Could have possibly been a penalty. The referee does say no and from that it is actually an injury for Eden Hazard and it is so disappointing especially at this stage of the season there's only a couple games to go in this Premier League season. Hazard goes down with an injury. We're going to have to wait and find out to see how long he's going to be out for. Could have maybe been a penalty. The referee he did say no and obviously we're going to continue in this game hoping that we can find a goal to make it 2-1. In the 53rd minute Swansea are on the attack as they play the ball through to Fur. He takes the shot and it just goes wide of the goal. Not even troubling Courtois to be honest. Maybe should have, should have done a bit better there but a 1-1 scoreline against Swansea City is not good enough. We've got to be picking up those three points like I did say and like you guys did see that Man City are right behind us. But in the 75th minute Traore with the interception and Traore with the fantastic goal. It's 2-1 in the 76th minute, but you guys did see just how good of a goal that was from Traore. The interception was very well done. Took it down with his chest. One touch. Bangs it into the back of the net. It actually came off the crossbar, but what a goal from Traore. Obviously, this is his second goal in this game. He makes it 2-1 against Swansea City, and that is an unbelievable goal from Traore. That is a fantastic finish to make it 2-1, and that is how the game is going to end. Traore's goal is going to make us pick up the win and is going to give us the three points in this Premier League season. It's a 2-1 win against Swansea City and that is an unbelievable goal and an unbelievable way to finish off this game. Yet again, picking up those three points, making sure that Man City do not overtake us in this Premier League table. Hazard has actually suffered a bruised shoulder. Luckily for us, he's only going to be out for nine days. But nine days, especially at this stage of the season, is very, very crucial. Hopefully, he's not out going to be. Hopefully, he's not going to be out for longer than the nine days, because sometimes players do go out for longer than they usually are supposed to but the second game of today's episode is a huge one it's against Liverpool and today's episode like I did say before is a huge episode obviously we had that game against Swansea we got this game against Liverpool at Anfield and then to end off the episode we'll be having the semi-finals of the FA Cup 
Liverpool have been having a quite disappointing season. They were actually in a relegation battle not too long ago. They have gone out of that relegation battle and they're really sitting mid-table in the Premier League. We'll take a look at this Liverpool side. Firmino, Ings, Lalana. A Milner, Henderson, Lever, Gomez, Corker, Lovren, Klein, Mignole, Sturridge out on the bench, Benteke, Joe Allen. Let's take a look at my Chelsea lineup now that will be popping up on screen. And this is my Chelsea lineup. It's a pretty strong side, and I have been obviously taking into consideration the game in the FA Cup. Pedro, William, Falcao, Pogba, Pastore, Loftus Cheek, Baba, John Terry, Gary Cahill, and Jinta, Katoa in goals. Obviously, a few players have been rested for this game, but it still is. Is a strong Chelsea side to come up against Liverpool. In the seventh minute of this game, is actually, I think it was Falcao who did get taken down. And resulting in that, we will be having a free kick and a real goal scoring opportunity here for Pogba. From 22 yards out, it's Pogba versus Mignolet. And Paul Pogba is going to put that one into the top corner. We get off to the perfect start in this game against Liverpool. It's a 1 0 lead against Liverpool after eight minutes. And Pogba with the free kick gives us that advantage. That is a perfect. Perfectly placed finish from Pogba. He has been doing it quite well this season, Paul Pogba. He has been playing quite well. That's a great finish. It's 1-0 against Liverpool, and let's hope that we can keep this uh, lead. Obviously, we did go 1-0 down to Swansea, and it's good to see now that we've picked up a goal to put ourselves in the lead. And like I did say, let's hope that we can hold on. As we push on into the 16th minute, Lalana's going to play the ball through. His through ball does play uh, to Ings. Ings goes with the cross. Gary Cahill looks to clear it out, and his clearance went straight to Lalana. He took the shot, and Thibaut Courtois with the save to deny Liverpool a goal to make it 1-1. Courtois with a good save there. But resulting in that, Liverpool now have a corner. It's Milner who's got the corner. Milner is going to whip this one in, trying to find a man inside the area. The header from Henderson has actually gone into the back of the net. And Jordan Henderson has made a 1-1 in the 18th minute. The unlikely goal scorer from the corner, Henderson, has got the goal. Like I did say, it's now 1-1. And we've let our lead slip. But in the 42nd minute, Pastore does win the ball. And just, it was only a matter of time before we got a second and put ourselves in the lead. It's 2-1. And that is how the game is going to end. This game against Liverpool uh, was really a possession-based game. Pastore did win the ball in the midfield. He put that one into the top corner. It's another 2-1 win, and this 2-1 win is against Liverpool, and that is a massive three points going into the end of the season. You do not want to miss the next episode, guys. Before we head into this FA Cup game against Arsenal, I will let you know what we do have installed for tomorrow's episode in the Premier League. Next episode, we'll be having a game against Bournemouth, a game against Spurs, and a game against Manchester City. It is a huge episode tomorrow in the Premier League. You don't want to miss it. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, guys. But like I did say, we'll be having the FA Cup final, FA Cup semi-final, sorry against Arsenal. We win this game, we go through to the FA Cup final. We lose this game, obviously we do crash out of the FA Cup. This is my Chelsea side. It's Diego Costa and Traore will both be starting as the strikers. Marco Royce, William uh, as the two attacking midfielders. Fabregas and Mikel as the two CDMs. Uh, the usual back four and obviously Courtois in goals. As we take a look at the Arsenal lineup, and Arsenal when we have played them so far this season, they have caused us some troubles. Cazola, Giroud, will be starting in this game. Theo Walker, Oxley chamberlain Ramsey, and Marco Verratti, a man who I actually want to sign at the start of this series, but he did go to Arsenal. Peter Cech coming up against his former side, who will be going through into the FA Cup final. Let's find out. As in the 27th minute of this game, Diego Costa does receive a pass from Willian. He plays it back inside to find Willian. He takes the shot. Check with the save. It was a bit of a, a reaction save there from Peter Cech as a good save there from the Arsenal goalkeeper. Arsenal are on the attack in the 45th minute as Cazola and Verratti play a 1-2. It's Cazola who is making his way into goal. Takes a shot. It comes off the post and the rebound falls back to Cazola. Arsenal lead 1-0 on the 45th minute. Going into half time. Arsenal take the lead and we are now 1-0 down and obviously if this game does end in a 1-0 loss we will be crashing out of the FA Cup. But in the 51st minute in the early stages of the second half it's Diego Costa 
who does play to Ivanovic, who plays it through to Traore. Obviously, he's had a great start to today's episode. Two goals against Swansea, making his one to goal. And Traore picks up another goal in today's episode. He makes a 1-1 in the 54th minute. And Traore is on some great form. First, it was Diego Costa, the Premier League top goal scorer with some great form. Now, it's Traore in today's episode. And the game is going to end in a 1-1 draw. So, after the 90 minutes, it did end in a 1-1 draw and from that we will be going into extra time and during half time of extra time I did make a few substitutions putting on Pogba putting on Falcao and also putting on Pedro for Marco Royce because if this game does go into penalties I do have some fresh legs to take those penalties and yes this game will be going into penalties a penalty shootout to determine who will be going through into the FA Cup final and usually during my penalty shootouts I do speed up the gameplay but uh, the last time I did do that you guys did say to slow it down you guys want to see the full penalty shootout so we are going to do that let's jump into the penalty shootout against Arsenal we actually did play Arsenal uh, at Wembley earlier on this season it was in the community shield and we, I'm pretty sure we did win that game 2-1 or I think we did go to penalties it was either them two but coming up against Arsenal in the penalty shootout we can do this and we could make our way to the FA Cup final someone is going to crash out in this penalty shootout who is going to go through to the FA Cup final let's find out it's Fabregas versus Peter Cech with the first penalty Cech goes right stays right down the middle Fabregas to the left it's 1-0 Alexis Sanchez up against Thibaut Courtois it's Alexis Sanchez with the penalty onto the left. Courtois went the right way, but Courtois couldn't do enough to keep that one out of the goal. Diego Costa's penalty does send Peter Cech the wrong way, so it's now 2-1 in this penalty shootout. Aaron Ramsey now has a chance to make it 2-2, or he could miss it and make it 2-1. He goes with the chip. It comes off the crossbar, but off the crossbar, it goes right back directly to Ramsey. We lead 2-1 in the penalty shootout, and Pogba makes sure it's 3-1 on this penalty shootout. Walcott has the chance. He has to score this goal to keep Arsenal in this game. Theo Walcott with the penalty directly right down the middle into the top corner. Uh, not into the top corner, into the roof of the net. Falcao has the chance now to make a 4-2. He does do so. But it comes down to this. It is Danny Wolbach. If he misses this penalty, Arsenal will be crashing out of the FA Cup and will be going through to the final of the FA Cup. It's Wolbach versus Couture. It's Danny Wolbach who rattles his penalty off the crossbar. And we will be going through into the FA Cup final, guys. Yes, that will be the final game that we do play of the Chelsea Crew Mode Series. Will be in the FA Cup final. We defeat Arsenal on penalties, heartbreaking stuff for Arsenal, but we're going through to the FA Cup final yes, that is our chance to obviously pick up a piece of silverware, if we win the Premier League, that would be a fantastic season, but like I did say guys in tomorrow's episode, we have three games against Bournemouth, Spurs, and it's first versus second against Manchester City. We're going through to the FA Cup final, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. Make sure you drop a comment down below that I can respond to. Subscribe also if you are new around here. Make sure you don't miss out on the upcoming episodes, and I'll see you all on my next video.